Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. That's right, it's Wednesday, new release day here on the channel. Today we're going to take a look at an album. This is actually a couple years old. This came out in 2020, uh, but the record label is only just sending it to me now because I think they really want to get me caught up on this band. This is a band from Denmark, a Danish band that up until a couple months ago, Never even heard of these guys before, but they've been pretty prolific since 2005. They've got uh, six, this is their sixth like full-length studio album to their credit, but they've got a bunch of live albums and a whole bunch of sessions albums. So I think all told they've got like 14 releases or something since 2005. The band is Kausa Sui. The album is Sabodelico. And this is on El Paradiso, right? Is that how they say it? Paraiso, how do they say the name of this uh, record label? Just kind of trying to figure out how they actually, uh, how they pronounce this here. Paraiso, yeah, El pa pa Paraiso Records. El Paraiso Records, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, uh, this is Sabodelico. Most of their releases come in these kind of like uh, cardboard type, you know, mini LP type things. There's generally speaking not a lot of information on them at all. So here you get uh, basically a list of the, the folks in the band. Don't really even tell you who plays what, uh, who did the artwork, who recorded it, and that's basically it. And if you go online, there's not a lot of information about them either. But the guys in the band are, and again, forgive me, I don't know who plays what here, uh, Jonas Monk, Jess Carr, Rasmus Rasmussen, and Jacob Scott. Okay, with guest uh, flute flautist uh, Jens Agard on uh, two tracks here. Artwork by Jacob Scott, recorded, mixed, and mastered by Jonas Monk. Uh, so basically, the the best way to describe this band, uh, they call they call themselves a psychedelic rock slash stoner rock band. I wouldn't argue that at all. This is really, really cool psychedelic music. It's all instrumental. 63 minutes, 13 tracks, some shorter tracks, a bunch of like longer pieces as well. Uh, dreamy, psychedelic, lilting guitars, weaving guitars, interesting soundscapes. Nothing on this album gets overly heavy. I have some of their other stuff, and I think some of their earlier material is a little bit heavier in spots. This is not much on riffy type things, but there are moments where some kind of, you know, they do play some heavier blues, heavy rock chords type of thing. But for the most part, it's lots of kind of meditative passages and swirling guitars and, you know, very gentle percussion and drums and things. And uh, like I said, there's some electronic things going on here as well. But very, very intoxicating music. Very... It just brings you back in time. Like when I'm listening to this stuff, I get I I think I'm like listening to some like long lost jams from Pink Floyd's uh, Pompeii, right? Recordings, right? The great uh, live in Pompeii. Even there's even some some moments here that have like this kind of Jimi Hendrix vibe. You know, some of the guitar work kind of has this Hendrix feel to it as well. Um, very interesting stuff. It kind of takes you back. It's hard, you know, to think that this stuff was recorded in 2020. <clears throat> it doesn't really sound it. This, like, takes you back to, like, 1968, 69, 70, 71, that kind of time period. Just uh, very, very cool stuff. Some of the tracks, again, a lot of tracks on here. My absolute favorite, though, is the title track. Uh, go and listen to Zabodelico, and that's spelled S as in Sam, Z as in Zebra, A, B as in Boy, O, D, E, L, I, C, O. That's how you spell it right there. The title track is uh, just over seven minutes. That's probably the heaviest song on the album, but it's got some searing guitar solos on it. Really, really good. Other tracks, there's the gorgeous Honeydew, which again has that kind of like that kind of Hendrixy Robin Trower kind of feel to it as well. Uh, Merging Waters is the last track that's just under 10 minutes long. That is very mellow, but very dreamy. And like I said, it's kind of intoxicating. And the way the guitars are just kind of recorded and swirling over each other. Really, really nice stuff. Also, Soul Electrico is really, really good as well. Vibratone is a very, very cool song. And La Leticia is also really nice. But there's really nothing bad on this at all. Like I said, some shorter tracks, some longer tracks, all mixed together. 
it's just really cool ear candy. But this is again, this is not uh, an overly up tempo album. It is in spots. It's just dreamy, intoxicating psychedelic music. If you like instrumental guitar rock and you like this kind of like. Um, you know, music that's just going to sweep you and take you away, not going to bash you over the head. You're not going to be sitting there listening to, you know, people doing all this acrobatic stuff and whatnot. It's That's not what it is. This is definitely kind of mood, chill music. And I think there's always a time and a place for stuff like this. And, you know, there's a bunch of bands that are doing this sort of thing these days. And these guys are really, really good at it. This is pretty interesting. If you like what you hear on this, go check this out. Like I said, this came out in late 2020 kind of late to the game with this but uh, better late than never but i would suggest checking out some of their earlier albums as well because the ones that i've heard are really really good and uh they you know i've, I've heard a few bands on this label they actually sent us a bunch of other things too uh that i'm going to be checking out and hopefully reviewing over the next couple of weeks but this is probably my favorite band that i've heard on the uh, el pareso pare pareso <laughs> label uh that i've heard again i haven't heard at all but uh, very very cool stuff so uh Kausa Sui zabodelico is the review for today for this episode so uh if you've heard it let us know what you think of this album if you haven't go check it out and report back and let us know what you think this is pretty cool stuff really trippy music uh i kind of dig it so uh i'm gonna give this I like this. I'm going to give it a four out of five star. It's quite good stuff. Uh, again, this is uh, not like your everyday listen, but I think it's it's really enjoyable stuff. So go check it out. And visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together. All the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. We've also got down below the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page where you can get all sorts of great Sea of Tranquility shirts and hoodies and hats and caps and stickers and coffee mugs and all that kind of good stuff so go investigate that as well we've got new designs all the time there's lots of cool stuff there and uh we'll see you soon here with more stuff we got I got a ton all of a sudden like over the last couple of days I, I i got all caught up just like a week ago on the new product stuff and, and then like bang like 10 things just came in so we've got and again, there's a lot to it. It may not get to this for a week or two at least, but there's the new Transatlantic, the final flight live at the uh, at Le Olympia, the big live album from Transatlantic. We've got brand new Camelot has come in. Brand new Redemption has come in. Brand new Night Demon has come in. I, I'm gonna probably going to get today definitely to that uh, new Jade Warrior double disc uh, from the vaults, two albums they recorded back in the 70s, I think 1973, that they never released till now. So that's out. That's very cool. So I'm going to be talking about that. Like I said, we've got more stuff from this label, uh, you know, all sorts of other London, London Odense Ensemble, I guess that's how you pronounce that, uh, and, and a bunch of other things that have come from this particular label. But yeah, the stuff's coming in hot and heavy now, so uh, stay tuned uh, for all that and more here on CA Tranquility. I'm Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.